Hi, my name is Daniel Madamba. I'm a R&D engineer here at Confluent Medical, and today we'll be talking about DSC. Uh, DSC, or Differential Scanning Calorimetry, is a very common technique that we use here in order to determine the uh, transformation temperatures of nitinol. Um, it's a destructive test. Uh, we can use it to measure the transformation temperatures of anything from raw material to uh, finished devices, but we do have to be able to fit it inside these little sample pans. So the principle behind DSC is that phase changes, uh, such as you know, from austenite to martensite, they're related to a difference in heat flow between the sample and a reference material. So these phase changes are represented on the DSC curve by these peaks. Uh, on this, in this particular curve, the top portion of the graph uh, rep that represents the cooling of the sample going from right to left. So the first peak that we encounter is uh, austenite to R phase transition. And the second peak that we encounter is the R phase uh, going into martensite upon cooling. And upon heating on the bottom part of the curve going from left to right, we see the martensite reverting back into R phase at the first peak and then going into full austenite uh, on the second peak, and that's indicated here by the AF temperature. So unlike a traditional bend and free recovery test, DSC is purely thermal in nature, I and mean, there's no strain that's put on the sample uh, during the test, so there can be an offset uh, between the two techniques because of that. Uh, DSC is performed in accordance with ASTM F2004, and we can usually get results uh, after a couple hours of testing. So that's just a quick overview of DSC here at Confluent Medical.